Morning, everybody. Jason, Pete, Hollis Farms. The uh, first thing we're going to do this morning is go freshen up the panel trap, coons and deer and whatnot. It's done ate all the corn up and no wild hog action, which is a super good thing. And then we're going to go check on the loggers and see what else we can get into. This field right here got a little grassy and a little weedy on me. Still a lot of clover out there. It's really good clover down there, but that wheat, you see them rows. We, we get that first frost, we're going to be in business. Still going to have plenty of, plenty of wheat. Freshen back up. Alright y'all, they are through with the little clear cut here. Oh, they got, I don't even know if it's a whole load. They may have a whole load cut down. Yeah, they probably got two or three loads cut down. They got to skid up and process and get ready to get out of here. And then they're going to jump over here to right across from where this loading pad is and start thinning. Got that looking good and clean. A few weeks, a month or so, we'll burn them big piles. Get that out of the way. Be a pretty big pile right there. Well, they got a little more stacked up here than I thought. Not like much, though. Pete's taking him a nap. He's in back to Alabama. I just I got a little notebook that I keep up with all the all the hog catching on. I thought I had caught more than I had caught, but. It's not a lot for a lot of areas around uh, the places I'm trapping that are on us. It's not just loaded with hogs. Like, it seems like it, I know, but it's not loaded with them like a lot of places that are hog hunted with dogs and other people's trapping. But I just added them up with, with the hogs that I caught with me, at, which I think was 49, if I remember right. Was it 49 or 39? I can't remember. I put 49 in, but I got a total of 237 if I hadn't forgot to uh, write some down, and I may have, I don't know, I thought I'd caught more than that, but anyway, that's what I got wrote down. That's still a lot, a lot, a lot of holes. I don't know exactly, I know there's some formulas out there where they've figured, you know, this and that, I know you hadn't have caught them, it'd be a pile more. So we're gonna keep whacking at them though. All right, y'all, back in Alabama. Got my saddle out, my drill out. Got a bag of bolts. Somebody commented the other day, wanted to know about the bolts. That's a, I'm not sure. That's a three eighths, grade eight bolt. I call them cap screws, Allen heads, whatever you want to call them. Let's see how long they are. I had not the drill bit I got with it is the exact length. I forget how deep it goes. All right, that is a six inch, six inch bolt. I'll go over here and I'll, I will uh, dig the drill bit out and see how, see how deep I was going. See if I can All right, I forget the name of the company I ordered this stuff from last year, but this drill bit is made pretty much for what I'm doing and it bottoms out right here so you're the perfect depth every time All right, that bolts a six inch I think like, probably three inches it goes in there let's see two and three quarter where it bottoms out so two and three quarter you got four and a quarter inch step Alright, this spot that I'm going to is down in here in these salters that I feed. Uh, I'm going to hunt this a little different than I normally do. I'm just going to kind of hunt around the edge. I don't want to bother them too much. They're kind of used to the traffic down here. So, I'm just going to drive in there. I'll drive pretty close right there to the, to the tree we're going to get in. And we'll get it set up and then it'll probably be several weeks before we hunt it. But, we have a spot there. This spot right here might be good for boat season and gun season. Kind of an observation type stand. Uh, I should be able to see quite a bit, get some good video, and then uh, if we 
catch a deer moving in a certain spot, we'll just move in there with our more mobile stuff and pop up and try to kill it. Child, this is the tree I'm gonna try to get in. That's a big old sawtooth. We should be able to see a lot. As the ranch king, I've hunted in a bunch. But I just wanna stay back just a little bit. Of course, I wanna hunt out of the saddle too. Is this not a cool looking spot? Probably not up, but about 20 feet or so. Man, this is gonna be fun. Tree's leaning a little bit. I might have to make sure I set my platform right where everything works right, but this could be some fun right here. There's a lot of cover right now. When them leaves fall, it's gonna be a little different. This will be a neat little bow hunting spot and observing spot. We can see a lot of ground right here. y'all got us another set done. I about have just as much fun getting ready as I do going hunting. It's all fun. It all pays off in the end. I believe that sawtooth's the hardest tree I've drilled in yet though. That thing was working on that drill. Alright y'all, so here's what I decided to do real quick. I got some other stuff I gotta do. I got the Matthews monster out. I got me some new arrows yesterday. Everybody is just about out of everything because of this dang coronavirus. I wouldn't have necessarily picked this color arrow, but I do kind of like red and white, don't we? So, get these field tips put on here. I'm going to at least, depending on how close it is, at least try to get my 20 yard pin. See it? I still like my other little mission hammer bow, but I, I want to get this dialed in in case we in case we need it. I don't like shooting two different bows because they are different. But uh, anyway, try to get a little. Something. All something. the years of my bow hunting, I have never. I don't think I have ever owned a hard case. This is not a high dollar fancy case, but. I thought I might want one. Of course, I've got a nice soft case that my other bow's in I really like. But, I thought I'd try this one to put the, uh, I got it upside down. Dummy. I wonder how you tell I that. I guess the smart thing to know is when you unlatch it, pull it up, that'd be the top, wouldn't it? Now that's better. It's got that foam. There's my old sight. I got to put it up. Alright, this is the bright out here, ain't it? Matthews, uh, well, it's got some little deals you can put your airs in. No, I probably won't use half that mess. I'll probably use my soft case mostly. But anyway, new spot hog. It's got, we're going to end up having a 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. And boy, that dude is bright. You can see, can't you? Alright, let's see how close this thing is going to be on. Alright, I've just been kind of jumping around on the target trying not to mess a hair up. I can't shoot near as good as I used to. I get tired pretty quick. I need to shoot more. But anyway, I'm getting just about getting the 20 yard pin on. Uh, like I said, I've been moving around. I was aiming right here on this last one and got right there. I'm going to pick me a spot and try to shoot all six and see how good we can group them. Then I'll know if I'm getting tired or not. My shoulders are getting just a little tired, but it wasn't too bad a group. I need to do a lot better, but that ain't too bad. I think I'm going to drop back to 30 and just see how close. That 20 is close. I just need to come out here fresh one day after I've been shooting quite a bit and I moved the pin around. All right, y'all shot a few more rounds. My shoulders has done got tired. This bow is really a little smoother to pull back than the hammer. But I ain't quite dialed in with it yet, so I won't, wouldn't go hunting with it this afternoon or in the morning. Not with the monster. We gotta get a little better with it first. But the sight's gonna be pretty close on. We'll get a little fresher and 
20 yards good and a 30 yards good and we'll start adjusting on out of we can go to 40 50 we can go all the way to 60 so i don't know if i'd ever shoot one that far but the bow's capable if i am it'll have to be it'll be all on me once we get it dialed in but anyway i am about to have to call it a day today not a bad day today logger's doing good got another set for the bow and the set in the saddle and shot the monster a little bit appreciate y'all watching out of here